Hello everyone, I'm Naja Mills, a student parent fellow, recent graduate of Montgomery College and the mother to four beautiful children. They are ages nine, eight, two, and my newborn baby boy. Navigating through teen parenthood, several low income jobs, and at times no support was both challenging and nearly impossible. There were times where I had to decide between feeding my children or going without a meal myself, using my last dollar for transportation or food, and working long hours overnight and then immediately heading to my second job. Doing all of this while making more than three different attempts to attend college was just a cherry on top. Initially attending Montgomery College in 2015 with an infant, I was not properly prepared or supported to parent, work, and focus on my education. When I returned to Montgomery College in 2016, I did so with two children, but was in no better position than before. In 2021, I returned to Montgomery College for a final time with three children, determined to graduate and walk across the stage. I owed it to myself and my children to overcome this nine-year obstacle of not being able to successfully earn my degree. As a first-generation college student experiencing time and financial poverty, I wasn't set up with the tools that could have substantially shortened my journey and prepared me for greater economic mobility much sooner. I didn't know that there were other student parents in similar positions, so I often felt alone. A particular professor telling me to figure out my childcare troubles or to drop out of Montgomery College not only led me to withdraw that day, but it made me feel inadequate, out of place, and undeserving of a college education and experience. Tackling multiple student loans that I was ill-informed of in order to survive not only put me in a downward spiral of debt that I'm still tackling today, but it placed a severe strain on my already strained mental health. When I asked to be a part of the Family U Student Parent Fellowship, I knew that I hadn't met any other student parents during my many years at Montgomery College. I knew that the one thing I needed most was someone to just provide an ear to listen to, a shoulder to lean on, and a little empathy. I knew that if it took me nine years to earn a two-year degree, then perhaps there was someone out there that needed to hear about these obstacles. What I didn't know was that there was a group of leaders at Montgomery College and Generation Hope ready to not just serve this demographic, but to have us actively participate in the changes that needed to occur. This meant doing the new and sometimes uncomfortable task of publicly speaking about my experiences, asking for plans of actions to be made and met, and realizing that I too deserve a seat at the table. I've had the pleasure of literally watching and experiencing Montgomery College transform into a family-friendly institute a place where I once was only able to attend required classes in person, now offers virtual options, meaning I didn't have to struggle with transportation, cost, and I could focus on parenting. Having a student parent alliance formed where I no longer had to feel ashamed about my parental status as a student made all the difference in feeling stronger and more confident in these roles. Having the opportunity to speak directly with Montgomery College's president meant both my concerns and successes were heard, evaluated, and met with action. Being selected for this fellowship allowed me to speak up on behalf of all student parents that are afraid, alone, and left out of these kinds of opportunities. I'm thankful to not have only earned my associate's degree in communication studies, but to be moving forward with pursuing my bachelor's in communications this fall at the University of Maryland. This would not have been possible without the support of Montgomery College, the Family U team, and Generation Hope. It's in collaboration with you all that I beat the odds that were stacked against me, that I get to experience life outside of poverty, and that my children get a chance to see where support gets you. And I get to show others that despite how short or long it takes, the bumps in your journey will make sense when you end up where you were meant to be all along.